This was a free 25 by 15 inch vintage metal rimmed flush mount cast iron sink that we converted to a top mount sink for under $25. Stay tuned to see how we did it. Welcome to our channel, I'm Kathy, and my husband Rich and I are going into our third year of building our off-grid earth sheltered house. We were finally able to get our house buried this past fall, and our little wood stove, which is only supposed to heat 600 square feet, is keeping our 1500 square foot buried dome between 68 and 70 degrees. And that means it's warm enough to get some rooms completed inside. We've already finished our vintage Quaker made solid cherry kitchen cabinets, which cost $750. And today we are sharing how we converted our free cast iron metal rimmed sink and turned it into a drop-in sink that looks amazing on our DIY butcher block counter. All right, there's the sink. We have a little cleanup to do. But it was free. Let's see what we can make it into. We can make it awesome. What's the worst that could happen? We have to buy a new sink. We gotta buy a sink anyway. Alright, so let's start by, by cleaning it up, you know? Yep. I think we Wow. Doesn't want to let go. You did it, honey. You fix everything. I didn't fix anything. Why did you take it apart? <laughs> So working on the sink, you, the touch up is getting better every time. I wet sanded it and I added some more and this has to dry actually for two weeks. All right, so I've got the sink all taped up as best as I can. This is the kitchen sink because once we have the master closet done, I'll start on the kitchen. That's next. I chose this Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't really want to use that metal rim that came with the sink. I want to sit the sink on top of the butcher block countertop. I've got some different ideas, but this at least needs to be white so you're not seeing any kind of black or rust. We'll see how it works out. down. I'll hit it a bunch of times today. It's supposed to dry in 15 minutes. The edge wasn't perfect but I had sanded it and did everything I could. I'll hit this with a lot of coats and then later on I'll sand it a little bit more. We'll see. I don't know if the white's gonna perfectly match. That seems to be one of the problems. So this is after three coats of paint. It doesn't look so bad. I'm gonna pull the tape off and see how bad it looks underneath. I know there'll be a little lip, but we'll see. Thanks for moving stuff, by the way.
I'll let it really dry good and then I'll give it a little wet sanding and then I'll touch up some spots. Yeah, we're gonna let that harden up really well for a few days. See, like I'll touch this up, but once I wet sand it, I think it'll be okay. You can see the little bit of a line. It's okay. It's really not terrible. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be really good. After all is said and done. Not bad, I'm not disappointed. I will sand that again, but it's looking good. I have to do this area next. I just used my finger to kind of blend it in gently so you don't get any like rough paint lines. So we absolutely didn't want to have a metal rim on a butcher block counter, especially because it would have required us to cut a special recessed edge and possibly provide added support from underneath. Making it into a top mount sink allowed us to simply cut the hole in the butcher block to the right size and we didn't need to add any additional support because the wood is one and a half inches thick making it strong enough to hold the 75 pound cast iron sink. I wanted to definitely put this on because it's easier to do it here than it is for me to be under the sink. I'm too old. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, Sunday. Happy birthday to Rich, 61. Hang on a minute. Keep pushing it. I need more. Right here. All right, I'll do a whole nother bead.
coal. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a slight amount of rust all along the edge around the whole sink. Not everywhere, just in certain spots. And I think that's because when I sprayed the sink with this high performance enamel, I didn't really get underneath the lip. So I'm just gonna hit it with a paintbrush and some of this enamel. But if you do this, just make sure you spray paint under the lip all the way around, a couple of coats, and I think that would solve this whole problem. So for the cost of some spray paint, epoxy touch-up, and painter's tape, we ended up with a beautiful sink that would have cost us upwards of $400 if we purchased it new. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kathy, and my husband Rich and I are creating a simpler life in the Adirondacks, but simple doesn't mean easy. We'll see you in the next video. Officially ripped.